SolidMap Mobile is an application for your portable phone and tablet that helps you to determine the distribution and the presence of a deadly disease of oaks called sudden oak death. The infectious microscopic pathogen that kills oaks uh, is actually vectored by bay laurels and only oaks that are standing within tens of yards from infected bay laurels are at risk of becoming infected. This oak next to me is a perfect example of a tree that's been infected by the sudden death pathogen. The bleeding is the symptom of the infection that's occurring under the bark. The infection started from this bay laurel which grows just next to the oak. So this is the bleeding symptoms. This is what's happening underneath the bark. So this is the lesion that's going to eventually girdle the tree caused by the sudden death pathogen. And just above us there is the bay laurel that probably infected this tree. The app SodMap Mobile is available both for iPhone and Android phones and tablets. When you start the app, you will actually see a map of the North America. Uh, you will notice a, a bunch of white numbers um, on the west coast of North America. Those white numbers actually indicate where trees have been sampled and tested for sudden oak death. Each tree is identified by an icon and its color will tell you whether the tree was negative or positive. Red icons identify positive trees for sudden of death and green icons identify trees that were negative for sudden of death when they were tested. Identifying trees that have been positive may be important for management of sudden of death. You have to think of an infected bay laurel as an infected mosquito carrying an infectious disease like malaria. Some people may decide to remove infected bay laurels. Hence, being able to identify the tree that has been positive during a survey may be important. Besides using SolidMap Mobile to identify the distribution of sudden death and the location of individual trees that have been surveyed, the app can be used to determine the risk for an oak to become infected at any physical location. In order to determine the risk of infection for an oak, just tap the risk button at the base of the screen. For instance, I'm tapping the risk button in this particular location to determine what the risk of infection may be for any given oak around me. In this instance, the risk is high. And high risk is determined by the presence of at least one infected bay laurel within 200 yards from this very location. In this location instead, risk is moderate. This means that there is an infected bay laurel between 200 and 1,000 yards from here. In this third location instead, risk of infection for oaks is low or nil because no infected bay laurels have been found within a thousand yards from here. If not enough trees have been sampled in any given location, a message of insufficient data is given by the app. That means that more work needs to be done in order to populate the database that informs the decision by the app. If risk is high or moderate, please uh, educate yourself on what can be done to prevent infection by sudden or death. If the risk is low or nil, just monitor for future arrival of the disease in any given area. If insufficient data is present for your neighborhood, please get involved and do something to actually find out whether the disease may be already present or may be approaching. Remember to use SodMap on mobile to determine whether your oaks may be at risk of becoming infected by sudden oak death. Thank you. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> down the hill. Oh, yeah. We fell down the hill at this point. <gasps> okay. That's an outtake.